G'day, Ross here, and I'm on part two of our uh, pathway system. So we've just spoken about this here, which is uh, coming down from the shed and down from the house. Now, this here, um, we did have a chicken shed here, and I decided that I need somewhere to, to set up and work on my computer at cool. Um, it's also good to have the shade here if it's too hot in the day and in the afternoon. I can come down here and work. We actually the other day set up here two hammocks here next to each other and it was just brilliant. Really, really nice and cool. You get really nice breeze coming up through here. And you got a view over most of the property. I can see Swale 3 down there. Um, from here in the hammock I can see the gate. I can see the main road here. Although we're going to... Um, so we've got people going past at the moment but I'm going to actually grow a lot more on here so you won't actually be able to see through here eventually once we get particularly the bananas up and then uh, we'll, I want to plant this out as food for us through here so this area will be flat, we've already planted some nice plants around here as I say we can have the hammocks in here I can look over this area, I can see the main road up the top there uh, I can see the our back gate entrance coming up to the house. I can, I'm in earshot of the house, close to the toilet, uh, close to the nipper hut for lunch. So this really is a great um, little system. And it was only sort of halfway through. I think it was the last weekend. We we suddenly went, whoa, hey, this let's evict the chickens all down there and set this up. And so this is brilliant. So we've planted grass. We're hoping that grows. Uh, it tolerates the shade. This stuff apparently. So, hoping that grows there, and this becomes our, probably our favourite area. We've already sat there one afternoon, having a couple of drinks, and that was just awesome. Um, I've chopped out a root here that was in the way just to allow this path through, and I think this plant, uh, this mango tree will be fine with. Some others I've chopped a few, they don't seem to show any bad signs. Um, I'm hoping that they just you know grow more roots and keep on going because they're a pretty big tree you'd have to chop a lot to really affect them uh, so I'm walking through now on swale number two and this is across to the drain that I showed in another video that uh, we've got a gate here and this is basically our connection across to the top of our other property or part of the property which is that ridge up there and along and our plan is to really plant that out with uh, banana trees across there so this is a, a a future pathway we'll make a better path up to there later um, we did have a fence in here which I've taken down I, I want to make these swales bigger so the next one you can see there's another swale down there now that's another pathway so to get there I could go straight down but just to illustrate how easy this is I'm on contour here so it's really easy to walk even though uh, you know this is a tropical environment it gets really hot oh, here's a good example of the um, terracing with leaving pr plenty of room now the water when it erodes down here does chop these down and fill fill soil down here and what we've been doing is cutting these back more this leaves plenty of room to be able to cut these um, edges back at an angle to see how far we've got to go so that we minimize soil coming down because eventually we don't want to have to maintain these we have done each time I've made them bigger they started a lot smaller than this and each time I've been here we've put a crew onto working and digging them larger until we find the, the idea and I think we've pretty much got it here so just coming down now into past the chickens again I've allowed a space up here for the the berm here under the swale to get larger I'd like to see three four five meters even down here full of plants now we've got to get more soil obviously into here but as we dig stuff out of the house we can bring it down and, and make these bigger and don't have to carry it too far to get rid of it um, so I want a path to go along in the middle here in the future there may be a duck or another chicken uh, shelter over here and, and an area for them 
but it gives us options uh, later to do any of that that there is a nice pathway up on the as close to the ridge as I can without going through the actual hens area the took took house and we cut this ramp in here so again we can bring a wheelbarrow or wheelie bin down through here use it to harvest mangoes or whatever so I'm now walking around swale number three now swale number three actually I'll just show you while I'm here uh, straight across on the other ridge it goes through the fence here goes through the fence and around inside the chicken yard comes out at our back gate over there and continues around to the other side of our property um, or basically the other boundary pretty much to the boundary so that's stopping any water even from the neighbors the water is coming into there and that's capturing that water and down here these things are just driving these mangoes down here sorry the bananas down here um, and that little mango tree so it's it's doing some good even though we haven't grown anything on this yet until now that we've got the bananas in so keeping walking on swale number three here we uh, we come around down beneath the chicken sheds and because you're not always going to have a uh, wheelbarrow or whatever with you in fact just walking we've cut a stairway in here to make it easy to get up because as you can see some of these hills now particularly when you cut the swale in can end up being quite steep and this is actually um, I should know the gradient of this but it's steep it's more than than uh, permaculture um, certainly Jeff Lawton recommends that you do swales on but this is very clayey soil and it's worked so far as an experiment. I'm sort of seeing how far I can push it, I guess. Um, it certainly seems very stable. I mean, it's this stuff is it's just it's clay. It just sets. And I see the boys over here. They've made a basically a bridge across a valley with it. Well, here. So anyway, this is our pathway network up here. Very easy to get onto this at the next level. Now this used to be a valley. The guys dug this out, this was the first experiment, and it worked fantastically. They've continued the path just as it was and put things down here. Now I, I want to, again this is somewhere we can put excess soil, I want to push that out there to end up with a, uh, you know, a big area to grow plants up on the, on the high, um, more or less what would be, could be a pond wall. This could be a pond out here. Um, we'll see how we go later, that's going to take a lot more work but you'll see up here so as we go here the path does start to get a little bit thinner it's certainly still usable for a wheelbarrow at this point but as we get further along it does get less so this is where they don't this was two valleys and i really wasn't sure that we were going to be able to bridge this and uh, anyway the boys have proved me wrong they did a fantastic uh, job with this um Irwin and ding dong so they've cut out all of this area here pushed it down into there this was like i say two big valleys that ridge there came down in the middle and that valley went down to the tree as did this valley here so you can see the amount of soil that they've dug out of there all by hand and again this is an area that potentially could be a, uh, a dam or a pond we'll look at that in the future we'll probably see how much water we we end up here if i come back and you know, it's already made itself as a dam that'll be interesting that'll be telling all right so now it's got quite small we do need to make this bigger um, we can dig out a bit further there obviously at that tree we can't but maybe we'll chop the tree so once our bananas come up and we don't have to do anything straight away this can be a uh, you know a long-term future project next trip i want to do more swales to plant more bananas on so uh, we're coming around here. It's basically just a pathway now this swale Not exactly on contour, but it's pretty close uh, We've got grass over all of it and Now this goes right across this ridge that in the future could be a uh, Potentially for a shed and for a house uh, Maybe this wouldn't be a bad spot. It has shade uh, It's got a wide area 
and it wouldn't need to be dug out sort of too much and you could do several levels down here so this is one that we're looking at for the future um, this here is the end of this swale and I'm seeing something in the grass here I'm not sure what it was anyway um, this is the end of that swale as you can see over near that mango tree and this is the bottom of that uh, drain number four that feeds straight down into this so at the very least it's going to do some watering although that may go uphill a little there but we're going to get um, oh it's the water buffalo up on our hill that's okay thanks for the droppings um, we're at least going to get water into here which will feed our bananas and we'll probably come back along here and it'll certainly collect all this water that previously used to flow straight down that hill and onto the riverbank and into the river and, and flow away. So we've just captured a whole lot more water to keep on the property and I'm really excited about that. So as I say, next trip we want to harness our drains further down. There's another two. One around this... Uh, Oh, ridge I suppose you call it around here there's a big valley just further over and then there's another uh, sort of ridge down to the river around further that we can grow more bananas on so we'll we'll get to that that's that's future we're going to they probably won't be as big as these swales I just I just want to use them as water captures basically um, to slow the water down keep it on their property and feed the property uh, so there we go um, that's our pathways network and I'm absolutely stoked that we've that we've got it to the point that we have now that it's really easy. I mean, if I heard a, oh, my wife clangs on a post with a block of wood or something to call for dinner or something, it's, it's not dinner time, it's actually beer time. But, well, so I'm heading back up to the house now, but... Um, this is easy. I mean, you know, I can be back at the house in a couple of minutes now with this path Whereas before you're slip sliding all the way across these very steep um, Pathways so It's brilliant. It's it's stopping the water slowing down the water Harvesting the water and hopefully now as I've been showing this you may have noticed all along there's bananas We've planted 300 bananas uh, in the last two days of our trip um, that I'm really excited about too because a lot of the locals around here um, quite a few of the farmers have started planting bananas everybody seems to be doing it but that's fine um, we're getting we're getting uh, they're getting good prices for them apparently and they're getting a, a, a crop every two weeks to be able to take to market so we want to ramp that number up really quickly well as quickly as we can within reason we have to manage it too so if we can be getting a crop every two weeks out of bananas, um, that'll be just great. So we're going to start with the 300, and then we'll uh, we'll increase it from there by using swales. So experimental farming 101 going on here, and I'm certainly not a farmer, but using putting some of these permaculture methods into practice, uh, you can see the benefit of them, and it certainly beats spraying with bloody chemicals. So, I'm pretty much back to the house. With that up the last slope, you can see that our pathway system works well. And uh, I'll leave you with it and see you in the next video. Bye.